Man, I live like Rasta. Rasta. No beef, no passa. Man, I live like Rasta. Rasta. No beef, no passa. Gimme, cow me want a way I got your better. Gimme, 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 cow me want a way I got your better. Gimme, gimme. Alright, uh, welcome back to Slow Flow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. What a controversy. What a controversy. Go over to YouTube and follow Valiant. Valiant is one of the smashing new artists on the scene right now that has taken over the dancehall scene. You call it a new sensation. His YouTube channel currently has about 345 or so thousand subscribers and counting. This one video was posted 11 days ago at the point that I am doing this update here or this review or this commentary and the video already has 1.6 million views. But not without controversy and a whole lot of controversy. As you all know, the artist known as Kabaka Pyramid who is a stand-up rasta in the eyes of most of us. Yes, Kabaka Pyramid, who recently also became a Grammy winner, along with other people like, you know, from Shabba Rankin to Sean Paul to Shaggy to the most recent one, which was Coffee. And now, of course, you have Kabaka Pyramid, right? Well, Kabaka Pyramid did not take too nicely to this particular song and video that was done by Valiant that's called Rasta. Kabaka say, boy, it look like I'm a joke out Rasta thing. Anyhow, let's go off of what the Jamaica Observer said and then hear what we have to say in our commentary along the way. So, Grammy winner Kabaka Pyramid has found himself at the center of a social media firestorm after a spirited discussion with a social media user about Valiant's Rasta. Man, I live like Rasta. No beef, no pasta single during which the grammy winner which is kabaka pyramid implied that the movement is being appropriated for entertainment or maybe i should say misappropriated for entertainment on a thing rasta thing a joke thing when we say we want to inspire the next generation this is kabaka pyramid quote unquote as it was printed when we say we want to inspire the next generation. This is not what we meant. Rasta joke thing at Jamaica now apparently. All right. The Grammy winner tweeted. Twitter. The well done singer. According to Jamaica Observer. Him have many other songs. So the singer. The Grammy winning singer. Was responding to statements that were made by somebody called Dr. Isis. Samaj Hall, who is a lecturer at the University of the West Indies, Mona Campus, who suggested that there was no public outcry against Americans who sang about Rastafarians, Kabaka Pyramid shot back because the lecturer, Dr. Isis, said, you know, it, it, we see other people misappropriate this thing all the time and we never hear the Rasta community or you ever say anything about that, you know. So what's the big deal with Valiant's song Rasta? It's not that he's saying anything bad about Rasta in the song, right? So Kabaka Pyramid shot back by saying that he expected more from Jamaicans as he did not expect Americans to have integrity or to understand that Rastafarianism is about no i have never heard rasta say ism in a them thing because i saw we grew up with it back in the day you could not say rastafarian ism but the language has changed just like today black people don't want to be called black people anymore they want you to call them moors they want you to call them hebrew israelites they want you to call them anything else other than black or african seen now back to this though a little bit off topic there the controversy was triggered by the release of Valiant's music video, which I implore you to go and watch, and the song was titled Rasta, during which Valiant sings the hook, Man I live like Rasta, no beef, no passa. That means a Rasta no inna no beef with nobody, Rasta no inna no mix up, no passa passa. He said, she said, that is what it means. Man I live like Rasta. I didn't think a Rasta would find that. Mm, inappropriate or disrespectful towards uh, the movement but apparently one Rasta does right 
And I think he probably has a problem with what comes after man I live like Rasta. Because you hear the part with Veli and say, fuck them girls, something, something, something. And you're, and he's probably like, oh my God, that is so vulgar and so disrespectful. Obviously, it's somebody else's woman you're talking about sexualizing or having sex with, right? But the way you are vulgar about it, it doesn't go in a song with man living like Rasta. Because that the kind of living today will actually bring about beef and passa. You understand? Me start sleep with somebody else, girl. People find out. A beer, passa, passa, I go on. Yo, you know, say so flow, CV. I slap with Marky, girlfriend. Yeah, da, me see them. Me see them. She jump in her bends. Them drive go around the corner. Me see her head I go up and down in the... Somebody else got... T- that's passa, right? And next thing, it gets back to Marky. And now we have beef in the community over a woman. So... I can understand or overstand what Kebaka Pyramid is trying to say. However, the hypocrisy is deep. It's just like watching my boy there yesterday do his stand-up comedy thing and he talk about selective rage. And, you know, selective rage. So anyway, the music video shows Valiant and his crew and they're mimicking Rastafarian culture by rocking fake locks and scarves in the traditional black, red, green, and yellow, the traditional Rasta colors. Honestly, when I first saw the video, I was like, okay, I like the beat. This sound more like a total ripoff of, um, what the youth from England name again? What did the dumpling song with Spice in it and Shaggy Jump on it too? Uh, I don't know him name already, man. And the same name in the comment section, I'm going to move forward. Anyhow. I was looking to see Muta Baruka in the video because when I first, at first glance, I saw a whole heap of Rasta movement in the video and it looked like it until I heard, fuck them girl and I said, no, this is not a Rasta video. This is not a Rasta video. All right. So the video released about 11 days ago, like I just told you, the video already has over a million and a half views on it in those 11 days on YouTube. And has evoked strong reactions within the Rastafarian community with some seemingly, some of them, chiding him. In other words, they might beat him with words for the concept and for others calling for a balance. Now, in a teachable moment, amidst the global appropriation of the Rastafari culture, via reggae music maxine stowe who is a member of the rastafarian millennium council said that jamaica should lead the fight and our artists businessmen and government should create policies that will arrest this marginalization of our movement we have a national treasure the music industry should protect rastafarianism I mean, I'm, I am so not used to hearing isms in a Rasta, but okay, I will read what they wrote, okay? He said that we should separate dancehall and reggae. Artists like Sizzla, who has achieved iconic status and who understands artists like Valiant and Kabaka, they should now be booked alongside each other on events and stage shows to allow for a better appreciation of each other and the greater education of the society, of the culture, value of our culture. This is what Stowe said to the Observer Online. Now, I have something to say because remember the other day when the royals, them are so-called royals, came to Jamaica. Do you remember the big group Arasta that were sitting around beating the kettle drum and the bongo drum them with those people? Now, I didn't see no fire burn this up. And at the same time, there was a great outcry for reparations. There were people that were standing on the front line to include Queen Africa and others, who notable faces, who were standing on the front line, who were saying, yo, we're not too welcome on you know, you know, because we want to find out like, how we are gonna get full with reparations for what was done to us here. Oh no, oh no, get rich off a we 
and then now with their so still a suffer and the sufferation has trickled down from those times till now and even in these times now we you know, still hold with foot and we're not really going nowhere so let's see how you know, I go help we for prosper forward into the future some reparations and an apology would be a start on one side you have people saying that and on the other side you had a group of rastas who was joyful to see these same people who was beating drum with these same people and who is now trying to package this rasta thing and sell it to the rest of the world and brand it you understand so me and i miggle now me confused no no i go on anyhow sto has worked tirelessly to help define and defend the intellectual the intellectual property rights of the rastafarian movement helping to write a policy that the Jamaica Intellectual Property Office has enacted. Hmm, very interesting. Because, I don't know, but a lot of people globally are under the impression that Rasta is well respected in Jamaica. And it's not true. Rasta is not well respected in Jamaica. You still have those old Jamaicans or even younger Jamaicans who think, move your nasty self from here. So, I wonder if I have to leg there in them head from back then till now. You know, Lord God, man, you need to like twist out your hair more and you need to oil it and you need to make it look neater and you need to dress like this. Weird. Your clothes look shabby, you look dirty. You need to fix up yourself, put on some tight pants and some new clocks and a little new shirt and look pretty like the pretty boy in the motor road. And you know, I saw them go on with the rest of them. The rest of them don't really get the respect of Jamaica. Anybody say that they do is a liar, is a liar, right? Anyhow. With that said, we are talking about the hypocrisy. I am surprised that Kabaka is surprised that Rasta is used. Man, I live like Rasta. No beef, no pasta. That's respect to Rasta. But then Valiant, being from the dancehall community and ghetto youth thing, he's also able to put right beside that his other thoughts as well. Because he mentioned Rasta in the song, no means say he must make the whole song a righteous song. So the Minister of Culture, Gender and Sports must step in and stop using the slang term Rasta as that is a product of global appropriation to describe the Rastafarian community. Yeah, yeah. They support the community in this challenge here in Jamaica. The word Rasta is used like a slang in Jamaica. It's a door opener for negativity. It's a way to undermine the movement. And the government itself needs to ensure that the word Rasta is not used in its communiques to the public. She said. Me rotted. Me confused. So, in the meantime, anyway, some Instagram users have weighed in. And they are accusing Kabaka Pyramid of selective outrage, which is exactly what I am kind of seeing. Others have suggested that Jamaica has no real, J not, Jamaica has no more real Rastas in a it. And why Kabaka now burn out him lesbian co-workers them? Bumbo clot. Now, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. See? Now, in the meantime. Dancehall artist Conscience spoke out. Conscience said, seemingly, in defense of Valiant, saying that there were Rastafarians within the movement itself who have done irreparable damage to the community's standing internationally. Some Rasta just now move right, and people can see them, them dirty, you understand? And them not care neither. And they still say they represent Rasta. So our forming of what we believe rasta is by observing those who claim to be rasta and are prominent and misbehaving in public how come ununam burn out them there nah respectfully i don't think that being a jamaican means you have to or have some responsibility to preserve rasta integrity especially if you if you don't believe in a rasta faith conscience said now the part about how come Kabaka Pyramid is not burning out in lesbian co-workers and stuff like that. Alright, selective outrage. Hmm. You know, this was my experience with Rasta. So I start tattoo up my skin from 
early, right, from back in the day. But at the time, I was also walking my Rasta walk because you grow and you go through the motions and you're learning and you're seeking truth. And I was one of those kind of people, see? And I remember greeting some Rasta when another Rasta virgin carried me go over some elders. They owned a shop in Fort Lauderdale that had a whole lot of Jamaican stuff and Rasta memorabilia and stuff in there. And them used to sell incense and soap and skincare stuff. Them kind of something that oils and ointments and balms and them thing there. You can get your draw herb right there so too. So, me go there with the little youth or with the brethren. And when I reach, you know, me realize say, the elder Ras, he might look me up and down like him scorn me. You know when somebody look upon you like, you's a piece of shit or you is a tall piece of shit that's standing in the middle of the room. So I saw the, the elder keep on and look upon me while he was having a conversation, a reasoning with the Ras where me come with now, where me forward with. All right, when it was time to go, come still to them conversation, you know, I'm walking around in the store, I'm browsing what is there, where I'm having the merchandise and stuff. When we get ready to leave, they parted ways by bumping fists and, you know, lion paw and them thing there. Holy Manuel I and them thing, the guidance king and these things. Now, me go up to the elder Ras now as a young youth. Them time they me about 19. So, me go up to the elder Ras now and put up my hand now if you go lion paw him and go fix him and say guidance and, you know, me I leave to the man draw away him hand and fold him hand across him chest and look for me, tattoo them for me hand up and down and up and down and then look be dead in my face and never said a word to me it was the awkwardest moment ever seeing now instead of that ras that elder ras taking the time to teach a 19 year old hey couldn't be 19 come in there england when me are 19 come back when me are 21 so uh, then we go out. so I, I probably around them time they do I had a before I think I before me got England so I, I was probably even younger I was probably about 18 17 18 yeah so anyhow me take it as an insult I take it as a disrespect I take it as him taking missing an opportunity to bridge a generational gap him could have explained certain things to me teach me certain things or something but him dry himself in our shell now am i going to use him that experience with that one rasta to judge an entire movement no i'm not however being that i was young at the time for many years i did and then we decide say yo me no one their own no more of them elder rasta because the younger sister in them used to come tell us the younger ras them some story we are rebel ras you know them them are naya bingy and this and that and wrap up in a sackcloth and you know a quote scriptures and them thing the reasoning in a circle and beat drum with bible verses we out a road a rebel see so the younger sister in them used to come and tell us that every time they go around them some of them are rapists some of them want to hold them down and take it. Man, I hold down. The sister want to kiss her in her mouth. She have to fight. Forget her way up out tight. Man, want to push down him hand in her underwear and all kind of something. And when you confront them about stuff like that, you know, it's like, well, she's a woman. So, you know, it's like she's a woman. So she forgets some dick kind of thing. Not, oh shit, we have rapists amongst us. And I started realizing early the hypocrisy among rastas now with that said not to mention when time you see some of them run at the back of the cook shop i talk about yeah you have no chunks today yeah man more some veggie chunks and some you have no isla loo hyper and young kin a, a color loo and young and pumpkin and then sitting there in my axe fine you know, and then in a whisper and talk about yeah you know no trenton round there yeah look like fry up pork man put lick up on the side but like you know so i've realized since i was very young that a lot of them do live contrary to what they preach okay with that said them calling out kabaka now i would have to call out kabaka too now i don't have an issue with coffee i don't have an issue with any other jamaican female who somebody might deem to be a lesbian i have no issues with anybody's sexuality matter of fact i tell people all the time leave these people alone 
Coffee does not sing about sex, so why should we bring sex talk to her? We enjoy her music, she's an artist, left it like that, right? I've seen her in the company of people like Bojo Bantan. She's collaborated with Bojo Bantan and done song and video. If she got on Bojo and Bojo never get the vibes that she was man-like or she was boy-like and she was lesbian-like, then me no know. He went forward with his project and there was no complaint or anything, right? Hmm, I sit back and I watch that. I'm still not judging. See, the thing that happened with Leela IK and the girl and then Leela come back and say it wasn't that she loved men. It was that she was having a mental breakdown and she was saying things that weren't real. Some people say that whole story was just to save face, but that's exactly what she is. Bisexual at most. Me no know. Me not ask you about the people them sexuality. I'm just saying to make a point. More than ever. Vivid as ever. Coffee just did a project with, I believe the singer's name is Sam Smith, right? And Coffee's project with him, where I think the song name was Gimme, 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 What I Want, What I Want, right? All right, if you watch the video, there was a lot of things in the video that Kabaka should have burned fire upon as a rasta that his counterpart coffee was working on in the video was doing in the video also the fact of who she made the video with and the theme of the video and how a girl i look for the next girl with her pants front open saying gimme 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 what i want but you know the hypocrisy within that is just like the hypocrisy within the whole of jamaica where the man them are willing to say yo but the boy that you know go from around ya, leg around ya. But in our party, you will see a girl, a kiss a next girl in her mouth and a rub up her body and bend her over and a whine pan her like how a man with a simulating sex, a back shot pan a girl kind of thing. And the man them don't say nothing about it. Not only that, I heard Scatter Burrell make a point the other day where Scatter said this selective outrage thing here, it, it's funny. Because the same man them was say, yo, burn bat boy and this and sodomite and that. When you see them dressed up at the biggest events out, their threads that they have on from head to toe, shoes, socks, pants, shirt, it's a well-known, out-in-the-open, professed, proudly member of the LGBTQ community is their designer. And them not afraid to wear and model the brand. So I don't understand the selective outrage that they have when it comes to stuff like this. Kabaka Pyramid at best could start out by burning a fire upon protege. Seeing Diggy, indignation ban, protege for bringing them girl to the scene, for continuing to work with them even though things look fishy and all these kind of things. But he's never done that. In other words then, what people are saying is... Leave the youth alone, valiant, and make him live. Some people are saying Kabaka didn't really have a voice as far as speaking out against certain things, especially local artists, until him win Grammy. So I guess Grammy gives you that power now to say, yo, youth, me a Grammy winner. Hear me, I say, me disappointed, me not like your project. When I feel like it's a Rasta thing, a joke thing. Well, Kabaka, enough Rasta have joked out rasta for a long time and us jamaicans have seen it kind of like the same way how enough pastor preacher have joked out the church thing for a long time and that's why the new generation now we don't flock and run to the church because we see and we've seen our whole life how them do the thing right with that said leave your comments in the comment section below tell me what you think about this one and i'll catch you on the next video it's so flow tv I'm out. Peace. Man, I live like Rasta. No beef, no pasta. Ha <laughs> ha.